Colorado lawmakers are telling us what they like to hear from the president tonight in his State of the Union speech. We are told Mr. Trump will have a more conciliatory tone tonight. Political specialist Sean Boyd talked with members of the Colorado delegation. Certainly he is a hard guy to predict at moments <laughs> yeah, like this. Excerpts of the speech see him calling for unity and bipartisanship, but President Trump doesn't always stay on script. Mm -hmm. Here's what I expect him to talk about tonight. A large infrastructure package, a proposal to lower the price of prescription drugs, and a plan to stop the transmission of HIV by 2030. He will also likely condemn abortion and the Virginia legislature's late-term abortion bill. And he will tout the economy and his trade deals. Of course, look for the speech to be heavy on immigration. Democratic Congressman Joe Negus brought as his guest a CSU student who is a dreamer. I would hope that the president uh, doesn't engage in the kind of, you know, dehumanizing and, and demonizing rhetoric about immigrants uh, that uh, that he has done in the past, and instead would move forward and try to unite the country. Again, I think that's uh, uh, that that the State of the Union always provides uh, presidents with an opportunity to do that, and I just I sincerely hope that uh, that he will uh, rise to that occasion. Although uh, I have my uh, I have my doubts. Tonight, I hope we hear a unifying message that brings the country together around some of the most important priorities this nation faces. How we're going to address the crisis in North Korea, what we're going to do to continue economic growth and opportunity, not just for those who've already seen success, but how we make sure that farmers and ranchers are able to come back from the depths of a, a deep recession in agriculture, how we make sure people with low income are able to make greater income uh, and better paying jobs. The president is expected to double down on his call for a border wall, but not to declare a national emergency over border security tonight. Among his guests this year, the family of a couple killed by an illegal immigrant and a middle school boy who's been bullied because his last name is Trump. Mm -hmm. And I will, of course, as always, break down the speech on CBS 4 News at 10. Yeah. One surefire winner is, of course, talking about bringing down prescription drug prices. Oh, yeah. Everybody is right. cheering for that. Absolutely. We, yeah. we hope. Everybody yeah. will clap for that one tonight. <laughs> okay. We'll see. Thanks, Sean. We'll see you tonight.